Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the new moment equation g plus psi eq plus minus the earthquake for span 2 to 3. Now, this is probably going to be our last video, so I hope it helps. But essentially, we're going to be doing this case now. Now, we've already seen this case, g plus psi eq. We did this way back. Now, we're just going to be adding on and subtracting on the earthquake. Because the, as the torsion and the lateral force goes, it's going to swing back and forth. So we need to put plus and minus there. In this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the plus just to show you what to do. And then you guys can continue with the minus. And I'm only doing for span two to three. The procedure is the exact same for spans one to, one to two and three to four. Just to remind you of the spans, in the previous videos, we've defined one, two, three, and four. So span two to three is that span over there. Now, this case, G plus psi EQ. So this equation we've already found. We found this way back. So I'm just going to show it to you. It was 32.3x squared minus 323 plus 563. So that's the equation over there. We found this way back like a couple videos ago. You guys can go find that if you want. And then we're just adding on. So we're doing the plus earthquake load. Now the earthquake case is just due to this linear um, moment, moment diagram. Okay. Now all it is is essentially y, plus, y equals mx plus b. So it's a linear function. So we're going to have some type of y-intercept and a gradient. So I've just done the equation here, the, the moment at earthquake one, so I'm calling that point one and this point two. So that's the y-intercept minus, because the line's going down, the, um, the rise or the, the, the fall. So moment at earthquake one plus moment at earthquake two divided by the length. So that's y2 minus y1 on x2 minus x1, the same type of thing you've seen um, in year 10 maths. So that's the gradient times by x. So this essentially is y equals mx, plus b. That's all this formula really is. Just representing this moment there. Now, the reason I've done MEQ and M MEQ1 and MEQ2 is because um, you can see in this case, we have 118 and 118. But if I were to do span 1 to 2, it's 118 and 148. So it's very important you have this type of formula set up. You can't generalize it too much. So let's go sub in the values. We have 118 for MEQ1 and 118 for MEQ2 over there. So those are the two moments which are um, on the, the ends of our